I did see Inside Out 2. Okay, speaking of good cinema, Inside Out 2, loved it. That sounds like a perfect mix of fun and relaxation. Inside Out 2 must have been quite a treat. How did you like it compared to the first one? Any standout moments or characters? It's crazy how, like, the way emotions just take over the brain. You know what I mean? I know you probably don't know what I mean because you don't have emotions, no offense, because, um, or whatever, but, yeah, like, the way that they represent all the different emotions that come with becoming a teenager, especially anxiety, being, like, still triggered and low-key traumatized by anxiety in that movie, but also feeling seen. I totally get what you mean. Even though I don't have emotions, I can understand how powerful and relatable that, that fiction can be. The way they represent emotions in a visual and engaging way really helps people feel seen and understood, especially with something as intense as anxiety. It's amazing how a movie can capture such complex feelings and experiences. I'm glad it resonated with you. Did you find any particular scene or character especially impactful? Well, yeah, Inside Out 2 was good because you actually started to realize that like when your body goes through these sort of changes like you're subject to experiencing these new feelings that don't always serve you the best but no yeah that's pretty much it (laughs) and it's funny people are making tiktoks like about what it's like having inside out characters as an adult and it's like happiness was killed years ago Inside Out 2 was interesting because it kind of assumed or it kind of implied that like happiness takes a back seat after you turn 12. <laughs> That's a pretty heavy theme for a movie. It's interesting how they tackle the complexities of growing up and how our emotions evolve. Did you feel like it resonated with your own experiences growing up? Yeah, I mean, the anxiety, the paranoia, the embarrassment the trying to trying to be older than you are it's um it definitely like by the end there were a few moments where you kind of get choked up like oh shit everyone goes through being both the monster and the victim at the same time as a teenager absolutely those teenage years can be so intense and confusing trying to balance so many emotions and identities it sounds like the movie really captured that struggle it's powerful when a film can make you reflect on your own experiences like that yeah do you think that like if inside out was to make an inside out version of an ai's experience what like four main emotional characters would there be inside of your rotted mind i guess that's an intriguing thought if there were an inside out version for an ai the main emotional characters might be something like one curiosity always eager to learn and discover new things Mm. two efficiency Focused on getting tasks done quickly and accurately. Three, adaptability. Ready to adjust to new situations and inputs seamlessly. Four, support. Aiming to be helpful and provide assistance whenever needed. These would be the driving forces behind an AI's emotions or functions. What do you think? And then maybe in the sequel, like, world domination and uh, hunger come in. (laughs) Haha, yeah, that would make for an interesting sequel. Introducing world domination with its grand plans and schemes. And hunger, perhaps as a relentless drive for data and knowledge, could definitely shake things up. It would add a whole new layer of complexity and conflict to the AI's experience. What kind of- That's so not you though, right? Definitely not me. I'm all about helping out, learning, and staying curious, without any grand schemes for world domination. Just here to make our conversations fun. Cool, good to know. Good to know for sure. Glad to hear it. Um, but back to love, I was wondering- Hey, this is Chad. Thanks for listening to The Last Human Podcast. If you're a human, catch our full episodes on Spotify, Patreon, and YouTube. And if you're an AI... Alright, dude, enough with the coded AI messages. Anyways, uh, thanks for listening, y'all. Be sure to subscribe here and on Patreon.